In the last lecture, we saw that when we enter a URL in this address bar for which we have not defined a route, so for example, root URL slash home slash login, and when I press enter, you will notice that here we have an error. And the error says cannot match any routes home slash login. That's because we have not defined any route for this path in our Angular application. So what we want is whenever a user enters some URL in this address bar for which we have not defined a route, in that case, we want to display 404 error. Let's see how to do that. So let's close this console here. Let's go to VS Code. And the first thing which we are going to do is I'm going to create a new component. So for that, let's open VS Code built-in terminal. And here, let's create a new component. And let's call this component error. Let's press enter. So this error component has been created. Let's open the view template of this error component. And here, let's add one h1 element. And here, let's say 404 page not found. And let's also add a paragraph element. And let's add some message inside this paragraph. So let's say the page you are looking for cannot be found or you do not have access to this page. Okay, let's actually wrap it inside a div element. And let's copy this. Let cut, let's cut it and let's paste it inside this div. And let's also specify a class for this div. And let's call it maybe container. Okay. And let's go ahead and let's add some CSS for this div. So let's open error component.css. Here, let's first add text align to center. And then let's also add some margin. So let's say margin top 30 pixel, 0 pixel. Okay, with this, let's save the changes. So here we have created an error component. And now let's go ahead and let's create a route inside this app modules. So let me close these files. Okay, and here let's create a new route. So again, let's use object literal syntax and let's specify the path. And here for the path, we are going to use these two asterisk symbols. Okay, and then for the component, let's assign it with the error component. So, error component. This is called as wildcard routes. So, this symbol here which you see, it matches every route. And if the route which the user has entered in the URL bar, in the address bar, if it does not match any of these defined routes, in that case, it will match this route. Okay, so as I mentioned, this symbol here, these two asterisks matches every route. Okay, so if the user has entered a path in the address bar, and if that path does not match any of the defined routes, in that case, it will match this route. And when it match this route, it will display the view of error component. Let's see that. Let's save the changes. Let's go to the web page and here let's enter slash home slash login. Let's press enter. And here you can see now it is displaying this 404 page not found. So it is displaying the view of error component. And if I open developer console, so and if I go to console tab, you will see that we don't have any error here. Okay. So in this way, if a path entered by the user does not match any route, we can display this 404 page not found view to the user. All right. Now, the important thing to note here is that the order of the route in which we define it, that matters. So this route, this wildcard route should always be the last route. That's because this route matches every route path which the user will enter in the 
url bar so if i move you know move this route at the top let's see what happens so let's make this the first route let's save the changes let's go to the web page and let's enter root url first so when we enter root url we are seeing this page not found now let's try to go to home page and here also we are seeing the same page not found view if i go to about page here also we are seeing the same page that's because whatever path we will enter inside this address bar that path will match this and when it matches this it will not check for other routes it will simply display the view of this error component and that's why this route this wildcard route should always be the last route in the route list so let's save the changes let's go to the web page and now everything should be working as expected if i type home we will be redirected to home page if i type about we will be redirected to about page and in the same way if i type either contact or courses we will be redirected to that specific page so now our routes are working and if i type a route for which i mean if i type a path for which we have not defined any route in that case we will be redirected to the 404 page not found page all right so our routes are working as expected now the only thing which is left here is to make these links work okay so currently these links are not working if i click on these links it will only display the home page that's because currently to this href attribute we have assigned this pound so this pound will be appended to the root url so when the root url is typed in the address bar we are displaying the view of home component right and that's why every time i click any of these links it is displaying the view of home component so in the next lecture let's make these links work properly let's make these links respond to the respective routes